Florida Governor Ron DeSantis made an appearance on Newsmax with host Eric Balling on Thursday and turned a lot of heads when the subject came around to a potential 2024 presidential run. At one point during the interview, Balling, a former Fox News host and contributor, asked the GOP governor about running for president or taking a back seat and running instead as a vice presidential candidate, presumably with Trump who is leading in the polls and has been for the duration of Joe Biden's presidency. Would you be willing to serve as vice president with Donald Trump? Balling asked. After pausing for a moment, DeSantis said, I think I'm probably, you know, more of an executive guy. I mean, I think that you want to be able to do things. That's part of the reason I got in, I got into this job is because we have action. We're able to make things happen. And I think that's probably what I'm best suited for, DeSantis noted further. Balling pressed on, flipping the script, would you? In 2016, Trump ran for president. So did Lindsey Graham. So did Rand Paul. So did so many, so did Mike Pence. Trump tapped Pence. Would you, if you got the nomination, consider Donald Trump as a VP? I think that that's its interesting, interesting speculation, DeSantis said with a chuckle, according to HuffPost. But, you know, I think that just beyond that, I do think, though, you know, we are in a difficult situation in this country because the left I mean, just think when Biden got in, if they had had two or three more Democrat senators, what they were going to do, they were going to eliminate the Electoral College they were going to mandate ballot harvesting and eliminate voter ID across the country, DeSantis added. And they were going to do things like make D.C. a state with like 52 senators. And so I think the whole party, regardless of any personalities or individuals, you got to be looking at 2024 and saying, you know, if the Biden regime continues and they're able to pick up, you know, 10, 15 seats in the House and a Senate seat or two, this country is going to be in really, really bad shape, he continued. DeSantis' responses did not sit well with former Trump national security official Sebastian Gorka, who hosts a podcast on the Salem News Channel. Balling invited Gorka onto the show, who commented on the governor's response and highlighted DeSantis's reaction to the possibility of Trump's indictment in Manhattan. Let's just say the governor of Florida has not showered himself in glory in the last four days, Gorka responded. Let's remind everybody that President Trump is a resident of the state of Florida that he is governor of. He says nothing for 48 hours about the impending arrest of the 45th and potentially 47th president of the United States. And then in a press conference on Monday on another topic, he's asked, and he does this snarky thing twice, he has to talk about hush money for porn stars twice and get giggles from the peanut gallery. Gorka then brought up the governor's recent interview with Piers Morgan on Fox Nation, describing it as a bloody embarrassment. And now he shows us how big his ego is with you and says, oh, VP? No, no, no. I'm an executive. I guess being the second in line to the presidency, it's just not good enough for Ron. Gorka added.